Twins, of course, fighting for that division crown in the American League Central. And for more of the Twins, here's Peter Gammons with his Diamond Notes. It's difficult for anyone anywhere else in the country to fully comprehend anything like the impact the George Floyd incident had on a community like Minneapolis-St. Paul in May of 2020. But going into the 2022 season, Twins owner James Polad and club president Dave St. Peter felt strongly that the Twins should be part of bringing back the joy of the Minneapolis summer to the downtown. They signed Carlos Correa and acquired Chris Paddock before the season, and at the trading deadline, Derek Falvey and Thad Levine were among the most active executives in addressing needs for major league pitching and relievers Jorge Lopez and Michael Fulmer to not only remain in the American League Central race, but for a shot to play in October. They knew all too well that they've gone six postseason appearances, back to 2004, without winning a postseason game. Their last season win was over Oakland in the 2002 Division Series. The last World Series was 91, with Jack Morris, John Smoltz Classic. And with the depth of Yon Duran, Lopez and Fulmer, they may have the pitching to win playoff games if they can beat out the White Sox and Guardians in the regular season. A Minneapolis October may be cool, but it will bring folks back to one of the most pleasant downtowns in America. The Twins' most undervalued deal at the trading deadline was acquiring veteran catcher Sandy Leone from the Guardians to handle that pitching. Johnny Bench and Brad Ausmus, who caught the eighth most games in history, have long said that the most important job for a catcher is to create conviction in his pitchers. And last January, when Columbia won its first Caribbean World Series, I got a two-word text the next morning. Sandy Leone. The Red Sox wouldn't have won in 2018 without him, especially blocking Craig Kimbrell pitches in the dirt with tying runs on third in the Yankee series. Guardians president Chris Andonetti marvels at how much pitchers know how much he cares and his impact. If you don't think a catcher impacts pitchers in ways that cannot be qualified, just watch the Orioles. Through the weekend, they were 26 and 19 when Adley Rushman starts behind the plate with an ERA of 365. And he made his major league debut on May 21st. Soon thereafter, opposing managers began realizing, hey, the O's bullpen may have the best stuff in the game.